It's just gone 3 a.m. this Sunday morning in Moscow. I'm Yunan O'Neill. Thanks for joining us. You're watching RT International. We start in southeast Ukraine, where events have been unfolding at a very steady pace. Ukrainian troops have allegedly moved into the city of Mariupol and have surrounded an administrative building held by anti-government protesters. Now, we are receiving other reports of shots being fired and fighting in the streets. Meanwhile, in another city, Konstantinovka, fighting is going on between self-defence squads and the military for control of a local TV tower. RT's Paula Sleer is in the region for us. Increasingly great developments happening here in southeastern Ukraine. In the city of Mariupol, we now understand that the army is actually inside the city center. They have surrounded the local administration building where you currently have a few hundred anti Kiev protesters. Those protesters are telling us that they're inside, that the army is warning that if they do not leave the building, they will be fired at and the building will be seized. The people we've been talking to on the ground say that there are about three to five hundred anti-Kiev protesters that they're unarmed. I'm in the center of the city. There are a lot of ambulances outside the local administration building. Gunfire is being heard. Armored vehicles have entered the city and are moving towards the center. People are going there as well to prevent the soldiers from shooting. We're hoping they won't shoot at civilians, though from what we've seen before, we're not sure anymore. Armed vehicles started entering the city. Then the firing erupted. Mercenaries or the Ukrainian National Guard open fire aiming at people's heads. There's no fatalities so far, but I can't say anything about the number of injured. Right now, police have returned from the scene, but people in dark uniforms can be seen in other parts of the city. There hasn't as of yet been any reports of injuries, but certainly the showdown for violence is happening inside that city. Now the protesters have set up barricades, they're burning tires in front of that building. So very dramatic developments coming out of Mariupol. In separate developments in the town of Konstantinovka, we do understand that a military operation has begun there. There is firing. As I say, shots are being heard. We're receiving reports right now that the TV building has been seized by the Ukrainian army and that all all transmissions are currently off air. In another development in the city of Donetsk, earlier on Saturday, there we had anti Kiev protesters seizing the central security building. Now, no more developments since then, but Donetsk is also a hotspot where we're constantly receiving information that there is going to be a showdown and a clash between both sides. None of this is a surprise. Kiev did say that it was planning to start operations across the Donetsk region, but it is also also threatening that once these operations are over, it will move to other regions. And as you can well imagine, people here are terrified. Most people in the town where I am, Slavyansk, are choosing to remain indoors. Earlier, I caught up with a family who spoke to me from behind their barricaded front door.